you feel that the town is yours, and you can get anywhere in the town up to a certain point where the places where people live. But if you approach by bus, you perhaps arrive at the city centre, and there you get on a bus, well, you feel that uh, the world is yours too, because this bus has the right of way along special routes, and the traffic lights are so arranged that uh, when they come to a crossing, the lights are in favour of the bus. And if you are on foot, uh, within the heart of the residential areas, you don't come across a car. You've got your special walkways. When you come across the uh, busway, um, you go over a bridge or un under a subway, so that uh, although all the facilities are there, none of them are in conflict. Of course, this is not just a technical theory. In the end, the test of a new town is whether people are satisfied. And I think it's true to say that the people have found the, this simple bus service, which is a figure of eight uh, in this way, they found this very convenient. Uh, the bus drivers, incidentally, have said that they feel that as though they were on holiday because they have no traffic in the way. They can go 30, 40 miles an hour. And the... Uh, People, the passengers, complain that the journeys are too short. Uh, but of course, the principle is this, that the shopping city is at the center of the new town. This is virtually a very large air-conditioned box which is split up into areas for shopping, social and commercial uses and is elevated above the ground by approximately 20 feet. All of the shopping takes place at this upper level but storage and other uses such as cinemas, squash courts, entertainment, public houses can take place below this level which is the level at which the ordinary vehicle service is centre. Pedestrians coming into the centre come into the corners from the valley side. They come along a horizontal footpath through the edge of the car park here and into the centre without having to go down or uphill. Likewise, the people on the busway come into the town centre on the busway here, get off the bus under cover and go down by escalator to the access level to the shopping. People who come on country buses come in at the ground level underneath that and come up to ground level here by escalator and also into the shopping centre. People coming to do their shopping trips by car come into a present, a four multi-storey car park sited in the four corners of the shopping area. This allows all people, whether walking on the bus or by car, to have easy, safe access into the centre, which is fully protected from the vagaries of the English weather. This is not only a commercial center, but also a service center. Could you show us where both are located? Yes. Within the main shopping area here, there are some service uses. There are cinemas, there will be a dance hall, and a social club. But in the northern loop of the road system here, we have commercial offices here, a police station, law courts, commercial offices here, and a public library there. And in a further phase of the shopping city, to go up to the south, there will be other entertainment and commercial uses.
and a series of residential communities are linked by a bus route which goes through the centres of those communities. And at each centre is a bus stop. The bus stop is at the local shopping centre. So there's a, a link uh, between the major shopping centre and the minor shopping centre. The schools are also located at the near, at these centre points. So that um, if you happen to go to a school in a different community, you can also go by bus. And everyone in each of these communities is within walking distance of their local shop and of the bus stop and of the school. In fact, there is a walking module that is the starting point of this town that facilities are planned within walking distance when they're outside that distance where you have to go by public transport along the figure of eight route or you go by car if you wish. But the principle of the car in, its, uh, in the way it's um, arranged within the structure is that it should be have its main movements outside the town. It should, there should be not, no through traffic. The roads are outside. They have their feeders in to each community. And in the middle is a town park. the style of the architecture we have here is very largely dictated by the site. The central of the, of the town, as you know, is this large rock with the ruins of the castle on it. And we very consciously made a decision that we would keep all of the buildings fairly low in relation to that. And also relate their colours and textures to the old sandstone colours of the, of the rock. Hence the housing that you see around here on Holton Brow is in a, a brown brick precisely chosen to match in with the colour of the old sandstone up here. Similarly, on other housing development, we've kept a very simple vocabulary of materials because we feel the most important aspects of this sort of development are the quality one can put into landscaping and the importance of the people themselves. Is it not too expensive to care so much about architecture? Good architecture is a good investment. Do you think it pays off in the long run? Oh, indeed. I think the up-to-date uh, about getting on for £100 million pounds has been spent on Runcorn. Half of that money has come from private sources. If it wasn't good value, we wouldn't have got money from private sources. adventure playground in which young people from all over the state are able to come and play during the day and especially weekends. The group that you see walking down uh, on the bottom at present are the group from the local comprehensive school. They come sometimes during the week to help with the establishment of the adventure play area and also the young girls at the school come and help with the play group which is indoors at present. The idea behind it is that the young people are able to do what they please, when they want, under a very, very small supervisory staff. And the whole setup 
has been put forward by the Runcon Development Corporation so that young people can come away from the housing estates and let themselves go in an environment which is large enough for them to do so. Field Community Centre, which has been built for the use of the whole of the community who live in Castlefield. It was first opened in 1971 uh, with a joint scheme by the Urban District Council, the Runcon Development Corporation, and Cheshire County Council. It's the hub of the community development in this estate, and we have many groups who come in here every day and every evening for their activities. We look after groups from a very small age group, the play groups, look after the groups who are the teenagers, and we also look after for the groups who are mature and also the old age pensioners. Today, there is an old age pensioners luncheon club in which all people who live in the area can come at this time of day for a meal, which doesn't cost them very much at all, and is as part of the community provision within the centre. We also have groups who meet in the evening for uh, music, drama, physical activity, keep fit, sewing groups, and also just a group of people who like to be together to, to discuss each other. And the case is open seven days a week and seven evenings a week. What difference do you find between living in Liverpool and living in Runcorn? Oh, here, the countryside, fresh air, shopping facilities, the house itself, everything completely different for living in. Yes, but every small town offers the same advantages. In what way is Runcorn special? It's more, it's everything. It's everything. It's convenient in Runcorn. No. It's very convenient. We've got a decent bus service. It's every convenient for you up here. It's nice for the children, you know. What are the reasons you moved here? I think more or less for the kids, you know. Clean air and, you know, they've never aged since they've been up here. They've never been sick, you know. No. You know, they've been obviously good. I've got no danger roads or anything like that. I don't know what it's all about. What is it? Do you like Runcorn? Like Runcorn, yeah. What difference is there between life in Liverpool and life in Runcorn? Um, well, the big difference for us is for the children. Because where we lived before, you know, they couldn't play out because of the traffic. And here. Um, you know, they're fairly well protected from the car. And, um, you know, they might be able to play out of them, I think um, more, more than anything else, all the people cater for now is emergency housing. They try and get people somewhere to live, just as a matter of course, you know. There's no uh, thought of what they're, t what they're leaving behind them when they move. And uh, I think most people, especially from Liverpool, miss this. They miss all the... All the the background is left behind, all the shopping even. You don't get the local shops here that you had in Liverpool, you know. And this is a big thing. They do this here they get fresh air and they get green areas. It's not much different really there. I don't think it's uh, any fresher with all the industry surrounding us. <laughs> Thank you.